So for the left link, we'll add a Z index of 100, just to make sure it's above everything on the page. And for the right link as well, we're going to add a Z index of 100. Okay, here we are, back in Firefox, we'll refresh and see. Okay, that seemed to fix the problem. All right, back in our um, CSS, we're going to give the left transparent and the right transparent heights because they seem to be collapsed. As you can, see, as you can see in Firefox here, they are over here. They are, they are on the page, but they seem to be collapsed. So we're gonna give them a height temporarily, just so that we'll see how the layout is forming up. Remind, just to remind you guys, all of this that we're doing, we're going to fix it when we start writing the JavaScript for our plugin actually. So we'll just give it a height of 200 pixels. Likewise for right transparent height of 200 pixels. Okay. So here we are in Firefox. We'll refresh again. So as you can see, they've been given a height of 200 pixels. But yet again, the left hand side is not showing up. So we'll go and give it a Z index again of say something like 50. Okay, we'll say Z index of 50. Same here. Z index of 50. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, that seems to be okay. If you notice something, guys, the first image in the carousel seems to be underneath this opaque veil over here so we don't want that we want when the carousel first loads that this image over here is just in between this little box here i'll show you what i mean okay here we are in the diagram for our final product so this first image we just want it to be just a bit on the right hand side of the page so how we're going to achieve that is we'll head over to our css and it will give our carousel inner a margin left of 20%. So heading over to the browser, let's see if that has fixed the issue. So we refresh, yes, that seems to be okay. That is exactly what we wanted. Okay, all right guys, I know this, just one again, I'm just reminding you. I know this is not pretty, but we're just laying out the foundation as to how the plugin will look like. As I said, just as a second reminder, all of this will be fixed once we start writing JavaScript. All these calculations will be calculated dynamically. So just hold on. So next, what we're going to work on is the scroll links over here. As I said early on, we actually don't have any LI elements inside of the scroll links yet, but we'll just put temporary ones there and then style them, then remove them. So when we go into our JavaScript, that will dynamically populate this area. So let's do that now. So here we are in index.html and inside of the scroll buttons, we're going to add temporary li tags in there. And then we're going to give them some temporary values and a class of scroll button. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and then quickly type this out. Okay, now that's done. So we'll just head over to our CSS and then we're going to style this appropriately now. So we'll add a new selector called scroll buttons. And we'll give it a position of absolute. And then bottom of zero pixels because we want it to be at the bottom of the container. So now we're going to style every scroll button inside of the scroll buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to say scroll buttons and then we're going to target one scroll button inside of there. And then we're going to float it to the left. Each of the li tags inside of scroll buttons will be floated to the left. Basically that's what we want to do. And then we'll give and then we'll give each of the li tags a width of 20 pixels and a height of 20 pixels 
and we'll give them a border of one pixel solid black okay that seems about right for now let's just go and see in the browser what we okay here we are in Firefox so after refreshing we did do notice that it's showing up but it's at the bottom of the page and that's all right that's because of the calculations that's going on so we'll just go and style that even further now so now we're going to add a style to when the links are being hovered on so how we do that is we just add a hover attribute to each of the links so when they've been hovered on we're going to make the cursor to be pointer and then we're going to set the background color to black and then we're going to set the color of the text to white okay just one more thing before we wrap this up so you see this link over here this active one when it's been clicked and this jquery slider has been moved that one our plugin will assign it a class of active link so in order for it to be able to look like this we have to style that appropriately so back in our css we'll just target that um, class and then give it a the appropriate style so we say active link background color of white that's it okay now back in chrome we we'll refresh and then we'll see that yeah nothing has changed that much except for when we hover over it we do have a cursor okay so we'll go back to our text editor and then we'll just remove all those dots that are there just before each of the li elements so how we do that is the container we just go there and then we say margin zero pixels then 10 pixels so that bottom and top will have a margin of zero and left and right will have a margin of 10 pixels and it will go list style none and that removes the dots that we have around each of the li tags and then the li tags themselves which will have which has a class of scroll buttons we're gonna center align the text inside of them so we say text align center okay back in firefox we've refreshed and then now as you can see the dots inside of each of these have disappeared so okay just one thing I want to bring to your attention as you can see if we hover over this it seems like the background color isn't changing but it is changing it's because the background color of the whole container is actually white so you would not notice it that much here so just one more thing we're going to add a bit of space in between each of these links so we'll head over to our CSS file and then we'll just do that quickly and then we'll end this video okay so here it is so we're gonna give a margin of say um, zero pixels top and bottom and then left and right we're gonna give something like let's say 20 pixels okay that seems about right let's go back to our browser and then refresh wow that looks fantastic um okay yeah we're happy with that so guys um i'll see you in the next video where we're going to actually start writing our javascript and dive into the pretty awesome stuff i promise you it will be worth it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye